Good afternoon everybody. The forecast today was 93 degrees and sunny. This is about as sunny as it got. It basically became overcast the entire day. And that's what that is. That's a cloud of smoke. And ash has been dropping since early, early this morning. I mean, my whole house, my truck, everything was full of ash. And it made for a very difficult ride. And what was difficult was just breathing in this stuff, constantly falling on you. It actually made my skin really itchy. Um, and I know, bad idea to ride in this stuff, but it was my day off, I had to ride. So this is what I rode today. I rode the Salsa Journeyman Flat Bar. And man, this bike is just fun. Um, I wanna be honest though, man, that sore group set. You either love it or hate it, and today I hated it. I could not get that rear derailleur adjusted properly, and I wasn't willing to go back to the bike shop in Pasadena where I bought the bike simply because I didn't want to drive out there in this these horrible conditions. Earlier today, as you're driving through the freeway, you're in the trail, so much dust, so much uh, residual from the ash is on the ground, and just my car looks horrible. But... One of the reasons I wanted to do the video is people ask me, what do I keep in my top tube bag? Well, I keep a big fat tube, and there she is. Also, I carry a multi-tool. This multi-tool I got free. I forget how I got it. I think I ordered a helmet. I ordered something. Oh, no, no. It was a jersey uh, a cycling kit. You know, one of those fake Chinese kits? And you spend $39.99 on uh, Amazon? Well, they threw this in. and <laughs> It was actually... In a, in a toolbox, but it has everything I need. The only thing that's kind of funny are, you know, the tools it did add. You know, the screwdriver, um, the Allen keys are all useful on the trail, especially on a basic bike like this. Um, but the bolts or the nuts, I have no nuts on this bike. Literally, let me look. Um, yeah, everything is an Allen key or a screwdriver. Yeah, there's really no need for the nuts, but... I kept it simply because if I need to make a quick adjustment on the fly, I've got the Allen keys there. It doesn't weigh too much. It's a pretty versatile tool. Uh, but, you know, dude, free is free. And uh, let me close it up. Fits perfectly in the bag. And pretty compact, as you can see. You know, it's not a very large tool. Let me look at my hand. So it's pretty cool. Uh, hey, guess who's here? It's Damien. I'm good. I think Damien's like my best friend. Damien. There he is. And his brother. There's Dexter. Dexter's a smart one. I keep telling you guys that. But it's been funny. The past two days, uh, first day of my, my first day off was uh, spent with my girlfriend up in Temple City. And the second day off uh, was spent with my boys. And they actually go with me to my girlfriend's house. I, I rarely leave them alone. The only time they're left alone is I have to work during the day. Um, and last weekend when it was like 114, 120 degrees, they actually went to my sister's hospital. My sister's an assistant veterinarian and, uh, she takes them there so they can stay in a nice cool atmosphere and they don't have to worry about the heat. So they're well taken care of. And I think that's one of the reasons they love me so much. <laughs> this little guy, he won't poop on the cement, but if we were doing this video on the grass. I promise you he'd be pooping right now. He's a great guy. Some people have asked me, what is he? He's a mix between a terrier and a chihuahua, uh, but he's more terrier. His mom and dad were really, really fat little dogs, um, and he, he's chubby. He loves to eat. He reminds me, I call him my mini version of Diablo. I don't know if you guys remembered, but um, I had a beautiful uh, Alaskan Malamute, um, and he was huge, 150 pounds, just pure joy, pure, pure joy. But boy, was that guy a hairy monster. He lasted almost 16 years. And to last 16 years in a dry climate like this from an animal that's really designed for cold weather is amazing. But also what was amazing about it is how well cared my, my animals are. And that's because I, I'm blessed. I have a sister, an elder sister named Margaret, who's uh, been in the veterinarian business her entire life since she was 16. And she's now, what, she's a year older than me, so that makes her 56. So uh, it's nice to have somebody like that in the family that, you know, 
loves animals and, and really, really cares for them. Even though I hate giving my animals medicine, I hate taking them to the hospital. It's almost like me, but, you know, they're well fed. Uh, and I think love is really the key point um, to having longevity with your pets. And to me, they're, they're my friends. They're not just pets. They're definitely my friends, just like my bikes. You know what's funny? I'm going to share this with you guys. Every day, I have a bike room inside the house, and I also have bikes in the garage. Uh, but the bikes in the house, I pa- you know, I have my room, and then I pa- go down the hallway, and then there's an extra a room. And what I always say to my bikes is, okay, bikes, you know, talk to you guys later, see you guys later. And I say good night to them, and I say good morning to them. It's the weirdest ritual I have. But uh, maybe you guys who really, truly have a passion for cycling, you know, care about your equipment the way I care about my equipment. Now, the question that everybody's wondering about, will I get bored of this flat bar bike? Every flat bar bike I've had from the Fuji to the Cannondales to, um, what was that one Spanish brand I had? Oh, I forget. I want to say Olmo, but that's Italian. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I don't know. It was, a, it was a mountain bike. It was the Alma series. But every single flat bar bike I've had, even my Cannondale Cat 8 was a flat bar bike. Uh, and had Sora groups it, but it was 700 seat wheels with a uh, caliper with uh, rim brakes on it. Every flat bar bike I've owned, I've sold. And when I put flat bars on my Fixie, I sold it just weird i don't know what it is about flat bars because i always vision drop bars on any bicycle with flat bars and uh right now i'm gonna ride this like crazy and once that rear derailleur is adjusted properly i'm gonna ride it even more and um i don't know there's something special about drop bar bikes but this bike is pretty cool i don't know if you noticed but i did replace the surface bag and put this uh amazon bag back on and the reason I did it is I wanted it to blend better with a Rhino Walk front uh, waterproof bag. And uh, so right now I'm carrying two tubes, uh, two CO2 cartridges, one CO2 check, two bottle cages. You guys know it's got Shimano SPD pedals, not XT. Uh, I only have two pairs of XTs and one's on my, uh, one's on the Journeyman drop bar and one's on the uh, Cervelo uh, gravel bike and uh, like I told you I also am um, going to sell my uh, Salsa Marrakesh just because it's not being ridden but I do have to get some pedals on it so somebody could test ride it I've got quite a few hits on it and uh, hopefully I'll have it sold by this weekend so the next question is what are you going to do with that extra money well I'm probably going to go buy a Cannondale Synops Carbon uh, disc bike and uh, there's one on sale at a local in cycle in Pasadena uh, not Pasadena shoot I'm not even going to tell you where it's at somebody might go get it but anyways hopefully I'll have a new bike by next weekend talk to you all soon guys